G'day, I'm Neil, and my handle is Wiley11. Um, I'm just going to put my disclaimer here. Uh, whatever I do and say on these videos is well-intentioned and well-meaning advice. Uh, I accept no liabilities whatsoever for any disclosures. If you take some advice or act on something that I'm saying on these videos, you do so entirely at your own risk. Um, you know, I'm doing it based on my experience. These videos are my attempt to give back to YouTube for the help and assistance that YouTube has given me. So once again, you follow along or follow advice from these videos entirely at your own risk. Okay, and if you're not happy to do that, click this off and off you go. Because this is purely my attempt to give back to YouTube uh, as I said, for the help and advice that I have received out of YouTube. So this is just my little attempt to give back. If you're happy to follow along at your own risk, uh, buckle up, sit in. Uh, let's get into it. Good morning. I decided to make this a two-part uh, video, just real quick. Um, it was over an hour and... 40 minutes of footage and I, I hadn't edited anything out uh, so we split it into two haven't had my coffee yet you might be able to tell can't have it until after I've been to the docks um, yeah uh, so uh, this is the final in the series uh, I put the unit back together and I'm just going to round it out with a conclusion video at the end. So sit back and enjoy me struggling putting this unit back together. And um, I have another chat to you at the end of it. Right, so what I've got here are some serviettes. Right, I'm not using tissues because they're too um, flimsy. I'm using a serviette. And I'm just going to give that a rub with the serviette see what I can do with it hopefully when I look across it, there won't be any residual. Unfortunately, there will be some residual. Now, I don't have any isopropyl, but I do have this. And I believe this is as good as isopropyl. So what I'm going to do is double bit on my serviette. Like that. It's on the serviette. I'm going to rub it on. And wipe it across the surface. Hopefully, as I go, removing fingerprints. And it's doing a great job. It's taking all those fingerprints off. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to do. I'm not pushing hard. You can't push hard, but I am using it to remove all the res residual crap. Now, just while that's done, which way does this go again? Keep having to remind myself of the orientation of it. Here's our four corners of the thing. Here we go. We're going to peel it off and we're going to go for it. That's the orientation. Where's our peeler? No, I've turned it again. It's got to go this way. That's the orientation. Audio, let's peel it. I'm going to start in this corner. Check it out. Make sure. Triple check. Here we are. I've got a corner. I'm going to go for it.
Right. There it is. It's on. You can clearly see our burn. Why is this not sticking? Have I forgotten something? Are you supposed to squirt this on? Oh, apparently you are. Here we go. Our screen is on. Alright, well that's it. I'm going to let that settle there and I'm going to go. Alright, well so what's happened is I've got some fingerprints. Um, what I did was I squirted a piece of this onto the, the glass surface and let it sit there. And that's what's happened. It's, it's brought up those fingerprints. There might be another piece of film. I don't know. I might have it on upside down. It's quite possible there's a second piece of film. It's not sticky. I thought this thing was sticky backed. You know what? I'm going to chuck me. I've got some more of this tissue. I'm going to see if I can polish these out. Can't, not with that. What about with this? Can I just use it? I don't know if it's going to ruin this crap. What it might do, don't know. I'm putting it everywhere. Okay, it's evident that the sticky side is the other side. Yes, see that? I've spread that mark out now. There's another piece of film on that. I can feel it. So now I need to remove it. Do I? I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. See that mark? Needs to go. It's not going with that, that's for sure. Am I supposed to peel the second piece off there? Or am I about... Is someone yelling at the camera saying, Stop what you're doing, you idiot!
The thing is you don't want any dust in this area. You can't afford to have any dust at all in that area. Now what have I done? Got it the right way up. No, I didn't have it the right way up. That's the correct way up. And there I'm leaving it sit. The marks are gone. That's the good news. The marks are gone. And if I can get it to turn on, I'm going to have a screen with lines in it, probably. All right, back in a minute. All right, we got a screen. It's not happy, but we got one. I think with a little bit of encouragement those lines will go. But I think I'll be able to read that. And I think that'll settle down once I put it all back together. So I'm just going to put this thing back together. Put this battery I've got for it in. And then just see if I can get those lines to disappear by pushing around the edges. So it's time to start reassembling this thing. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm going to get some light going. Um, it's a day, it's actually two days later. Hey, got me coffee. And where we're up to, I've recovered the, the case for the unit. Here it is. I left it in the box. This got chucked in the bin. I've salvaged it, it's got all the manuals, all the bits. So it's been completely salvaged. From having nothing to having everything. So what I did here is this is the top co top cover. As you can see, I've set the um, keypad in. Put it down this way. I just got to work out which way things go. I've got all the, the screws I've removed are in there. Got the new battery. Got bits of rubbish. I've got bits of everything. And we're going to sit down and reassemble this. Right, oh, so now what we do. Everything here is hooked up. We never unhooked it basically. So we slide it in at the top. Everything underneath is in situ, but you just heard the plate pop out. You gotta line things up before you go forwards. So you see there the screw holes are lined up. I'll pop this plate back in where it belongs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a scam, darling. This has popped out now, so we're going to have to start again. Alright, we're starting again. So let's pull this out. Now, I notice there's two screws down the back. We might be able to in situ a couple of screws to hold that where it belongs. See these little screw holes here? There's nothing for them to screw into. 
I'm putting my, my thing back together, Don. I'm putting my uh, bizzo back together. Yeah, lunch will be a, an option. Yeah, this isn't working. I'm going to start again. Yep, welcome back. Don't know what we're focused on. Put some light on. Righty are. So I think we're pretty right on focus. Pretty much where I need to be. So where we're up to is we're trying to reassemble this um, fluke meter. I've got no shirt on because it's bloody hot. And I'm having a few dramas getting it to go back together. Uh, the first drama I'm going to have is I haven't got any glasses on. So y'all excuse me while I go find some glasses. Righto, so back again, recording. Um, yeah, as I was saying, we're trying to get this to go back together. Now the problem is that these things always come apart way easier than they want to go back together. Now, ignoring for the moment that things are upside down and back to front and over the back and over the top and whatever. You might be able to see that there's actually a scratch in that glass through there. Don't know if you can see it. But when I push this in, see this little piece of wonderful stuff here? It's a seal. And it got pinched up and went in the wrong direction. So on attempt one, we had a problem. Which was basically, everything was cattywampus on us, as people say. Now, I've got a piece of rubber here. What I'm going to do is just wipe that rubber over this lens. And what that hopefully is doing is working some of the crap out of this. As you can see there, we've got some crap going on. I'm using my serviette again. If I break the glass, she's all over. I think I'm going to slide with discretion. being the better part of Vela. I don't know where those bubbles have come from. But they've definitely come. And you know what? I'm not even going to worry about them. I'm just going to put this back together. We've got something that works. I can read it and that's all that matters. So here we go. We're going to go for it. Now, the problem is this plate. Because what happens is we get the, get the screen to go where we need it. Which is up in there. There's actually clips for it. Everything's kind of in situ. Kind of. Now the problem is you've got to hold this back end up. Money, look at that. Hold this back end up so that you don't pop this out of its. Because that's the problem, is the keypad pops. And it's just done it. It's popped right out. There's, there's buttons that have popped out. So I'm pretty sure I've got the button back in. I'm resting it on its um, battery case cover. See there's a hole there, and then there's a guide pin here, 
And what you got to do is get everything in situ before you even start thinking about everything else. But if the button pops, you won't get this plate on. So now we're up to the plate. And the beauty of this plate is it's actually a very clever bit of engineering. Because what it does quite nicely is it locks everything in like that. Now it didn't do that before. So now that that's locked in, you've got to actually angle this so that the top bits go in. Don't know if I'm in focus, I can't tell you. Not looking at the top. What I've got to do is see that this one, it's got to clear. Like that. Now, here's the tricky bit. See how these are all pinched up? There's a way they work that they're not pinched. And it is in fact only one way, the right way. Now, what I've gone for there is the screw holes. See the screw holes are lined up. And on the bottom, there's two here, one, two. And they're lined up. So we put our four screws in. Here they are. And what these are, these are a star, a six, a six pointer. So just excuse me a minute, I'll go find a six point. Welcome back. Here is the set I bought on eBay. Every bit known to man. So they tell me. We've got to find the one that fits these. Now it's 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 an odd size. As you can see. I could use a flat blade. actually prefer to use these to find one that fits <laughs> every size known to me and that's what they tell me oh, I thought it was one of these ones should be that. It is that one. Oh, there it is. There's our bit. Okay, so let's shut that up. Turn it over. And here we have our driver. I don't know what I paid for this. It was pretty cheap. And all you can see now. Dirty big hairy arm. We're going to put that home. Now the trick to these is not to over torque them. Over torque them and you strip them. There's four of those. There's one that drops down through the guts here and actually torques up something else down the bottom. I can't remember what that is, but you can't forget it. 
because if you do, you're in a world of hurt. And it's obviously not that one. Are these all the same length? Just have a look at them. They are. So I don't know what it was that went down in that. Unless I've used it, the wrong one over here somewhere. Might have used the wrong one here. One of these might be a bit longer. I don't think I did. Okay, so now they're going to run away. These are all the same length. Turn this over real quick. Here it is in situ. You can see everything seems to be good here. So I don't know what it is about that. There are five, right? To me, they all look the same. if I tip that upside down. Oh, I might have got it started, did I? It feels like it's free spinning. It is. I don't know what that is. And I don't know what screw it is. See? That's all the way down. Just have a look on this thing. When it goes on, and it fits on over the top. There's nothing in behind it, that's for sure. I know the two at the back are fine. There's not a screw there that's a bit longer than the others. See that, that to me, they all look the same. So something has to go into that. Ah! Hang on. Hang on. I think that might have been one of these, but I think that what you had to do Bearing with me a bit longer, guys. See, these were th this set was meant for working with the iPhones. It's got the, the screen pullers and things and all the different little torx bits and the uh, bizos, right? But it's got every every little bit known to man on the other side of it, right here. But that said, and I've bumped you. Yeah, that's not good. Righto, we're back again. Um, I'm not happy. Um, I'm pretty sure something's missing out of that. I don't want to take it apart again.
in, but I have to. I have to work that out. So I'm just going to tease that back off. It's not that difficult to remove. I mean, it's that and that earth wire that's going there. But I shouldn't need to remove it. There should be a screw that fits that. And I'm not sure why I'm not getting into it. I think there might be... It's a bit thicker, maybe. See, that's not all the way home. Something went click. just spinning it's free spinning I might not ever have had that screw but I can't imagine why I've got five screws so that's that's just free spinning you know what That washer comes off. And it does. Probably turn that out of there. I'm turning the washer off it. See, I've got it half off. If I remove the washer, I might have enough length to get down into that hole. And I don't think we need a washer. There she is. Washer off. See if we get it without the washer. It's not going in. It is definitely not going in there. Now it's not coming out of there. Oh, I don't know what I've done here. I've done the wrong thing. a bit shall we we got one of them don't know where I got one of them but I've got one called fingernails <laughs> all right so let's put the washer back onto it it's not the case that we're not getting it with the washer I think I've lost a screw out of this thing but I don't think I ever had it I, I think that's always been missing There's nothing left in my box of tricks here. Just going to screw that back on. There's got to be a reason for that. You know, has to be. Right, we're going to put it together without it. Because I don't think I ever had it. I know I didn't take that apart. Now we're back to getting this to line up. Just going to put those screws out of my road for a sec. I don't want to lose any onto the floor, that's for certain. 
Okay, we've got to line the screw holes up. You'll see it go in. There's the screw holes all lined up. Everything's where it should be. Two at the back there, two at the front, which is four. There are some screws missing. I believe they're always missing because someone's had this apart and hasn't put it back together, you know, like with all its bits. Um, they might have pulled it apart to have a look at that screen once before. I'll go back and check the video log for when I pulled it apart, but I'm pretty sure that you're going to find that I didn't have that screw to start with. I'm, I'm definitely missing it. These work pretty well. Now from memory, there's just these back two. See these two screws here are missing as well. And I know that I've never had those screws. These ones here go through here. But you've got to get them through this. That's the trick to that. So these two screws are the ones that are missing because these two go through from the back. Now that I've got a battery for it. I bought a new battery. And it actually plugs into here. I think it only goes one way, so we should be okay with it. Rightio, let's put our case back on. Now this is just a clip job. Oh, okay. My bad. My bad. <laughs> you put the case on first, guys. Case on first, and the screws go through the through the case. Three. See, they go in the holes. Now I know there's another screw that goes in that middle thing, but I also know that I didn't take it apart. Right, so that one goes down through that one. And you line it back up. Clip it back in. Away you go. I'm actually quite pleased to be at this point. Now this one goes through. Turn it around so you can see. Two at the back here. Yeah, that's not going to work. These are not magnetic, obviously. There it goes. Now this is where it's going to get interesting. See, I've got one left over. got to be the one that goes through that middle. Right. That's good enough to get us started. I'm not going to worry too much if I've got a screw left over, you know, that I haven't got one thing back on, but the keypad's back where it needs to be. Everything's in situ. Griffith University Gold Coast Engineering. <laughs> not anymore, fellas. You threw it away. Audio. This only goes one way. So they tell me.
Don't know which way is up, but we're about to find out. We're working in shade, so you just can't see it. I wonder if that's the right way up. Doesn't want to go that way. Turn her upside down, see if she wants to go. There she goes, she's in. Hope she fits. Doesn't look very fitty. Bit high on the high side underneath that lead, but I think that's going to go, and that's just a straight Phillips head. I don't think that battery is carrying any power at the moment, but I think our unit is because I've got power here. We got lines in it. But I can read that screen. I think the reason we got lines in it The screen's better than it was. It's still got the burn thing, but I can read it now. I'm happy with that. It's turning itself off. You can see where the cracks are. You can see everything that's wrong with it, but it's still working. I'm happy with that for free. That, that's me done. That's cost me about 30 odd dollars. I think I'll work out how to get those lines out, but you know, I can live with it. For what I'm doing, I think that's absolutely fine. I can definitely read it. We could test it, I suppose. We got the box here with all the other bits in it. Here's the box, here's what it is. So, industrial scope meter one, two, three. Uh, for what I'm doing, I'm happy with that. It's working. All right, we're gonna call that done. Just as an aside, cable's out, battery works. So it's even got portable battery. I'm going to let that charge. I'm going to call that done. Cheers. So as you saw, I had a screw left over, which I know has to go down that hole that I didn't fill. Um, I decided not to tempt fate because I got a working unit. Um, there are still some lines through the screen, um, but there's only like two or three of them. So by doing the heat process, I took out most of the lines that were there um, and the ones that are residual, you know, I think can go by pushing down on it again. Look, at the end of the day, um, I've got a working unit and that screen still needs to be replaced, but it works. And that was my goal was to get the thing to work to a point where I could actually read the the information and I've, I've achieved that and I know I haven't got a hundred percent functioning machine in that it, it's got some issues in terms of the retinal burn around the outside um, it, there's just nothing I can do about that I do note also that there are hairline cracks in the screen at the back again nothing I can do about that uh, un unless I can find a replacement screen for it 
but in the interim uh, I've got a new battery for it and I've got the machine working to the point where it's usable and uh, that was my goal um, I've got something that's been thrown out and that's free uh, not working to a point where it's put back together and working and usable and uh, not only have I got the battery for it and um, done all my bits and pieces I, I, I'm going to call this a successful project uh, I can take those lines out if I feel like it but there's no point you know like for what I'm doing it's good enough so that's it for Project Fluke and unless someone knows of where I can get the screen for it uh, if so by all means give me a comment and put the link in down the below now um, I've still got to find Steve's um, eBay store for his um, uh, polarized film. Um, that's a good bloke, and he, he deserves a shout out, and he deserves your business. So, uh, in a way, he sponsored this little thing by giving me a free screen. Um, well, he has. He's, he's, he's got me out of a bind, and um, you know, he didn't ask for anything. He, you know, he, and I didn't ask him for anything either. Uh, you know, all I did was I got in touch with him and said, look, I screwed up and I can't afford another one, which I couldn't. Um, I can't afford a hell of a lot because I'm unemployed. Uh, well, guess what? All that changed yesterday. I got offered a job. You heard me. I, I, I got offered a job. And um, it's an engineering job. I graduated in July 2017. I think I've applied to something like 800 positions, give or take, you know, 10. Around about 800 positions. And finally got an interview, got an interview with a bloke who understands where I'm coming from. And he's offered me a job. Now, for me, this is the realization of a career goal. Um, I'm starting in a week's time, and uh, you know, with the loss of mum, she didn't see this, and, but I know she knows that I've made it, and. Um, I'm just overwhelmed. I really am. You know, it's been a roller coaster of emotions. And I'm raw, I, I admit it, and I'm not, you know, I'm not too proud to let my emotions show on YouTube. Um, these are tears of happiness, you know, they, 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 um, the, you know, this job is going to change the way my life will run. And I never thought I'd get it. And you know, when you look at the journey and all the things that got in the road, I just never thought I'd get to this point. Um, and yet I hoped I would. And so I kept going. Now, if that's you, let me encourage you. You know, uh, don't let anybody tell you what you're worth. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't achieve what's in your heart to achieve. Because you can. If it's in your heart, if you've committed to it, you'll get there. It was like also the weight loss. The weight loss, I hit 100 kilograms. Everyone is is like wow you've lost weight and they're noticing i've noticed because i've dropped the pants size I've, I've, I've dropped i've stopped buying 107s i've started buying 102s and they fit beautifully um i'm not stopping at 100 i'm heading now my next goal for, for the weight loss will be 90 and i'll set that as a new target and I'm going to give myself two years to make that happen. You know, I don't care if I drop over two years, as long as I'm dropping a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit. 
you know, it's just little bites of the, you know, little bites, little bites. And, and eventually, it's, it's like saving for something, you know, like if you want that thing, don't go out and put it on a credit card. What's the point? You think, oh, yeah, yeah, I deserve that. Well, no, you don't, because you can't afford it. Um, whatever it is, you, you set up a little slush fund, a little sinking fund, and, and you just chuck a little bit away. And you don't touch that. It, once you put it in there, that's it. You don't touch it. Um, and, and that's how you get things, right? Everything around you, you see, everything, all of the stuff, I scrounged that. I, I scrounged that and made it into what I wanted it to be. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, the fire blanket, I didn't pay for that on the credit card. The fire extinguisher, I, I, I paid cash for it. The thermometer, I paid cash. You know, the... The air meter over here. Cash. Understand what it means to achieve something and have it be yours. There's just no feeling like it. The day you get rid of your, of your commitment to debt is the day that changes the way you perceive your value. Because you're not going to that job, which I've now got, and paying it to the bank, or, you know, and paying it, and paying it, and paying it, and paying it. You're paying it to you. Yeah. And you're on the other side of, you're on the other side of a huge, like, there's a huge wadge of people in this net, this trap, this credit trap. And it's a trap. Because it's too easy. It's way too easy to get a credit card. And I don't have one. I, I cut mine up. I use scissors and I cut them up. And I enjoy doing it. And they come in the mail and I just go ch -ch 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 -ch, chop them up. And once you work out you can do that and you don't use them, um, eventually they stop coming. They're still two or three that come but eventually the the really bad ones the promotional ones you know buy buy from us we'll give you the credit buy from us and we'll charge a 27 percent interest we were there we we're in that place not anymore we're debt free and there's a series of my videos that show you how we got there um, i need to get back to that too because i got a bit lazy with the budgeting one I, I merely mentioned to people how we did it. I didn't actually do it. And I haven't done it for some time because I've been there for free. And I've just been tickling over my sinking funds. I haven't been really looking at how I'm tickling them. Um, I've got m multiple bank accounts. When I want something, I open a bank account for it. And I, I start tickle, 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 tickle it up. And you tickle it up when you can afford to tickle it up. Now, I can't afford a lot. I certainly couldn't afford $2,500 for that instrument that got thrown in the bin. That's what it's worth, $2,500 Australian. It's probably, I don't know, 2,000 US or 1,250 euros or something like that. Or British pounds. Oh, i got to say... That achieving a goal is is an amazing feeling, and that's where I am right now, because I've achieved a goal. Now, I've got to wrap this up. Um, my fluke meter's up there; it's in the box, and if I need it, I can get it out of the box, take it to the job, do whatever I need to do, finish it, put it back in the box. All of the manuals, everything that came with that, are now in that box, including the char, the charger, and the spare battery. And every so often, I get it out and use it, charge the unit up, keep the battery tickled up. They're NICADs. So, no, they're not. They're nickel metal hydrides in IMHs, which are slightly better than NICADs. But the point is, they're not lithiums. Um, and I didn't put lithiums in it because I don't believe the charging system in there is good enough to handle lithiums. It could be, I don't know, but it's not rated for it, so I didn't use it. Now, um, I want you, like I have done, 
Right? Like I have done. I want you to make good decisions. Do good things. Make good decisions. Do good things. Make good decisions. Do good things. And if you don't feel like you can do it, do it anyway. Right? You can't do it. Do it anyway. Keep swinging. And I'll see you at the next video where I'll be an employed person.